Good day, people. Alright, first and foremost, I apologize for not uploading sooner. Most of you probably don't care to hear about my personal life, but recently, I got a 3D printer, and I've been dicking around with that and learning how to 3D model recently, which has been a ton of fun, and I can't wait to do some funking robotics with it. Um, secondly, uh, some updates as to where the plugin currently stands. I went to add lighting options, like I said I was going to in the last video, uh, to this plugin, and ended up going down the rabbit hole a little bit. I learned that since I've been gone, the original ARJS project that was started by Jerome has been picked up by an organization, and the project itself is actively being developed. I also learned that they added functionality for full blown image markers. So naturally I was like, well, f lighting, we can have full blown fucking image markers, boy. Uh, but uh, then I discovered um, that it was really buggy and objects don't position correctly around the image. Um, so, scrap that. Also, realized while I was trying to implement both the lighting and the full image markers that, like, mm, holy sh my code sucks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Y'all might not know this, but I went to school for electrical engineering and minored in robotics. Uh, within the past couple years, I changed career paths, and now I'm coding full-time. I worked for about a year and a half in augmented reality, and never really had to work with a partner until I switched jobs. And at my new job, I have, like, teammates, so my code has to be not just good enough for me, but, like, good enough for other people. Uh, so naturally, I've gotten a lot better at coding and learned much better coding practices. Whew. Anywho, so I've mostly been refactoring my code to make it smarter, better, faster, stronger, more object-oriented, and less cluttered. Uh, and that's why I come to you today with no new features or additions to the plugin. Anyways, let's show you how to uh, make and change image markers using the plugin. Alright, open up Unity. Go to the ARJS menu. Image target. Generate image target. Click on upload. Grab the image that you want to have in the center. Click open. You can change the pattern ratio to kind of make that border thicker or less thicker. And that's about it. Download marker and then download image. You'll get these two files, a pattern file and a PNG. Go ahead and throw them into your project somewhere. Um, I put mine. Oh, yeah. Image target images and image target patterns. That's where I put mine at. I'm not going to show you dragging and dropping them because, like, I already have a couple here to work with. Um, anyway, so let's open up a new scene. throw in an image target. There we go. Click on ARGS image target and click apply generated image. Um, a pop-up will come up and you'll place the image target pattern and the sprite image into these and then click update. So come in here to IT images, unity pattern, or sorry, yeah, unity image pattern thing. And then patterns, Unity logo, and click update. And there you go. Now your image target has been changed, and when you hit compile files, it uh, it'll automatically move the um, the pattern file and the image to where it's supposed to be. And yeah, there you go. For those of you sticking around at the end of the video, I want to apologize first for the monologue at the start. Uh, I also want to say thank you 
my channel just hit over 100 subscribers. Maybe one day I'll get big enough to sell out.